from Woodbrook, as I call it, somewhere in New South Wales, uh, the good butchers. Yep. And uh, we've got the, uh, the, the the pony trots coming up here, Cody. We do, absolutely. Uh, just uh, on uh, Peregrine Phoenix. That's two races down there where the mappers, the cartographers, uh, Rob, would be uh, absolutely on the money because they've both been able to lead those two first winners, obviously get the right run in transit and be too strong. So that's, a, I guess, a good example of the importance of mapping. Uh, speaking of mapping, have you mapped this pony trot that uh, we're going to watch shortly here, Rob? I've uh, just had a quick look at the fields. There's one that I quite like that they've offered here, the pole marker. I think it's called All That Jazz. Well, look, I, I think the best part about this, uh, we continue to talk about harness racing, the family sport, and this is where it all starts, doesn't it? Uh, at the pony trot level. And it's time that, you know, we, we've spoken about this throughout the week. I know uh, a number of us have uh, been getting together looking at ways of enhancing uh, not only the coverage, but little promotions and Danny's been pretty keen to get the pony trots out there and, and showcase also these kids and it's great to see them because many of these will turn out to be uh, our future drivers down the track so mm. Dan uh, is in the box one thing I will tell you when you call the pony trots uh, they're very hard to identify because they're so small you can't ever see the numbers and if they go out with the wrong colours you, you always know you're in trouble yeah, well, they're off too so we better throw Dan. to Dan away they go the first of the pony trots at Tonight, sponsored by High Gain, is underway. The fields are in the race book, uh, page six of the race book. Not really going at the start uh, was, uh, by the looks of it, Betsy Boo. But uh, coming up to the uh, the turn, and after a good start, it's uh, Miles and uh, Annabelle Stanley right up there. Uh, all that jazz and uh, Madison Fraser just uh, uh, losing a bit of ground there. It came to a bit of a standstill, but uh, coming up around the turn, and it's uh, Annabelle Stanley with Miles in front, leading the way from in second, Rockefeller and Matilda Rawlings. Uh, then in third position is Cohen Tyndale with TP Manhattan. Comes to the outside, but it's not far off the lead as they swing for home. Barney and Hunter Leadham's back in fourth position, and they're clear of where's Wally Riley pace is making ground. Daniel Loftus is right there with Down Under Mischief as they turn for home. Uh, ba the back marker was Pride of Petit and uh, Regan Clark, who's made up really good ground and comes to the outside. In the stretch, though, giving a wonderful sight is Miles and Annabelle Stanley, but coming through along the inside now is TP Manhattan and Cohen Tyndale. So TP Manhattan, Cohen Din Tyndale go to the front with 50 to go, starts to open up a bit of a lead now in the first of the high gain pony trots they'll be back again a little bit later after race number five but it's tp manhattan cohen tyndale in the sulky takes the first pony trot from a brave miles and annabelle stanley it was a terrific run getting up for third is pride of petite and regan clark in fourth position barney and hunter lead them. then came where's wally with riley pace rockefeller matilda rawlings was next home uh, they were followed then by down under Mischief and, uh, and Daniel Loftus not too far behind them. And then came uh, All That Jazz and Madison Fraser and Betsy Boo and Sophie McDonough in the first of the Pony Trots.